Over the past couple of years, historical games have been getting more and more coverage over here at TCBH, and given the meteoric rise of roll and rights, it was inevitable that a historical bubble filler would soon hit my table. And thus, here is the upcoming USS Laffy, the ship that would not die. But first, a disclaimer. Designer Mike Hyman is my friend. We play games together, our kids play together, and I borrow his truck to move furniture like the freeloading friend I am. That said, I'd have no problem saying his game sucks if I felt that way, but you can make that what you will. Now, back to the game. Laffy tells the story of the indomitable World War II Navy ship that survived a relentless assault by Japanese planes. The default game is a solo mission where one player combines worker placement and dice rolling to combat enemy forces and keep the Laffy afloat. Each round, the player assigns their two worker cubes to Laffy's compartments, spending supplies to mitigate damage and resolve the corresponding compartment's bonus, ranging from benefits to your dice rolls, extra damage control, and even damage prevention. Then, the enemy strikes, the next Japanese aircraft attacks the ship, targeting a compartment based on a D-10 and the right or left orientation of the plane. The targeted room triggers its penalty, that's sort of the inverse of the worker placement bonuses mentioned earlier. Then one at a time, the attacking aircraft transfers its remaining health slash damage symbols to the Laffy. And yeah, I said transferred. This is a World War II historical game, and these are Japanese airplanes. So as you might expect, when that plane transfers its remaining damage, it's crossed off and dies. In one of the more brilliant applications of the roll and write genre that I've seen, damage comes in three forms. Basic filled in black shrapnel, red ring fire, and blue square water. Shapes appropriately accommodating colorblind players. Shrapnel on its own is bad, but at the end of every round, fires and leaks spread, creating an increasingly tenuous balance between defeating the enemy and fighting for survival. Good thing you have plenty of ways of dowsing flames and patching leaks, downgrading them into lingering shrapnel. Crisis may be averted, though damage is never removed. But the remainder of the round, you get to fight back. You roll 6 D10s, which may have various bonuses or penalties applied by your workers and the targeting penalty from earlier in the round. As you roll up to two times, you lock dice into actions, then resolve in ascending order. Ones are the primo number, as they can either be freely used as any other number or for super sexy bridge actions, crossing off stars until you fill in a box getting supplies, skipping the attack next round, or calling on the FM-2 Wildcat to attack two adjacent Japanese planes. The remaining dice extinguish fires, patch leaks, fire cannons at upcoming ships, or if they are higher numbers, cause increasingly detrimental damage to your ship, adding a real push your luck element to rerolls. Finally, fires and leaks spread, then you check for victory. If all Japanese aircraft are destroyed in the Laffy stands, you win. Otherwise, it's the next round. If the bridge or two other compartments are ever destroyed by having eight damage, you lose. Laffy is an exhilarating, fast-paced, roll-and-write system full of clever applications of its format, from the pulp meets propaganda presentation to the different classes of Japanese planes with slight variations emphasizing historical accuracy and realism, to the desperate struggle to survive an onslaught of devastating blows, it employs both strategic and thematic elements to tell its story brilliantly. That said, like any ship, it has its weaknesses. Dice play a huge factor in both what you can do and what happens to you, and while there are plenty of mitigation options in the game, the boons and banes of Lady Luck will have a heavy hand in your success. Also, some worker locations feel obviously better than others. Even with a limitation to not taking the bridge in consecutive rounds, some spots you'll only go to if crisis necessitates you respond to a fire or a leak. And lastly, because only one plane attacks per round, you can game the system by dwindling upcoming ships down to one health each, minimizing anticipated damage while you use your 5-inch guns and wildcats to fully take down planes further off. But even still, exploitative strategies or not, the game is tense, immersive, and throws enough wrenches in the cogs of reliability that you'll have to think on your feet and make the best use of your resources to survive. Combine that with options for scaling difficulty and cooperative play, Laffy is a worthy entry for historical gamers and fans of the roll and write genre alike. 
If you enjoyed this video, we have all kinds of other reviews, interviews, and recommendations via writing, podcasts, and video here on our channel and website CardboardHerald.com. Our content is audience supported, so if you want to show your support, please visit our Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Cardboard Herald.